So guys, Electric still says the Tesla Semi is a piece of garbage and everything Tesla does is trash. But actually, um, in the real world, DHL, they have test driven the Tesla Semi and they actually are saying it's pretty damn amazing. Uh, it's better than we expected. So you know how Tesla said, Elon Musk said, the Cybertruck's going to have 500 miles of range. It's going to be this price. It's going to have all this. And it was an exaggeration. I think Musk thought the energy density of the 4680 battery cell would be better than what it ended up being. So he overestimated the numbers. Well, Tesla has underestimated the ability of their new electric semi. It is better than what Tesla said it would be. And the evidence is now very, very clear because it's not just DHL, right? The truck, the semi was tested by an actual independent trucking organization. And they said, wow, 500 miles of range, more than 500 miles. This thing's actually really good. DHL has gone and bought them and I believe placed a big order with Tesla and they've tested it as well. And they've gone, well, this is better than what we thought because, you know, initially companies thought, well, the Tesla semi will just use it for our shorter haul routes. And, and the truth is 80% routes, trucking routes are actually short haul routes. And they thought, well, we'll just use it for that. But then, then they tested it and realized, actually, we can also use it for our long haul routes. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, and you're watching The Electric Viking. What am I talking about here? Well, DHL has taken delivery of their first Tesla Semi. They've completed a 390 mile route on a single charge, fully loaded, and there's still some battery left. We don't know how much battery was left, but we know there was still some battery left. And fully loaded is seriously fully loaded, right? I just did a video, guys, showing the disruption of electric trucks in China. Electric trucks have taken 25% market share of the trucking industry this year. And they have dominated in China this year. Nobody saw this coming. They thought, well, nah, it's gonna be hydrogen, right? Hydrogen trucks are the future of trucking. And they got it wrong. I got it wrong. I mean, honestly, when I started this channel four and a half years ago, I said the same thing. I was like, well, long haul trucking is a good chance that'll be hydrogen. And then I started to say, well, maybe not. And as you got, you guys know, there's a bit of progression in my thought process here where I think a couple of years ago I said, no, I think electric trucks are going to be the predominant source and you know they're going to be take over the market. And then obviously within the last six months, it's very clear that electric trucks are the future and hydrogen is never going to happen. There's some naysayers saying that this isn't true though. A lot of them are saying that actually, no, Bill Gates says it, uh, electric trucks can't work, right? Here's the thing. Tesla's heavy duty electric trucking program, their logistics giant DHL, they've officially taken delivery of their first Tesla Semi and so has Keller Logistics Group, a regional service with a 300 truck fleet. Here's the thing, um, major fleets in China are moving from curiosity to integration because, well, electric trucks are much cheaper to operate, they're easier to drive, they last for longer and financially that makes sense yeah what this ends up meaning is that diesel trucks actually get to their location much more slowly than an electric truck which can get up hills at the same speed at highway speeds and it's been very clear from the testing of the semi and that means that the tesla semi or other electric trucks might arrive at their destination say it's let's say it's a 1000 mile journey they might arrive there two hours earlier in theory of course you need to charge them then though, by charging them, it might take you half an hour to an hour and you end up getting there at a similar time to the diesel truck anyway, but at a much lower cost per mile. And not just per mile, but electric trucks potentially could last two to three times longer, particularly with Tesla's new strategy. Of course, I'm talking about lithium ion phosphate batteries. During DHL's two week, 3000 mile time trial, the semi basically shattered their expectations. While operating at average speeds of over 50 miles an hour, the semi achieved an efficiency rating of 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile, which is well above the industry standard of about 2 to 2.2 kilowatt hours per mile. And I think that DHL were pretty surprised by this. Now, of course, at that trucking industry meet, uh, Tesla's semi was tested and they did more than 500 miles with the semi. However, I don't know if there was much weight on that truck. But the DHL vehicle had a full load. It did 390 miles on a single charge and it had not exhausted the battery. The battery still had some charge left. I don't know how much, but it had some left. But the gross combined weight was 75,000 pounds, meaning it was carrying a lot of stuff. 
In addition to that, um, DHL is saying that right now, they don't need to drive all that far for this trucking route. And because 80% of routes in the United States and Europe and everywhere are actually not long distance routes, the semi, currently they're using it to only do 100 miles per day. So they, only, they say they only need to actually charge the semi once per week, which is pretty cool. So 500 miles of range means they can drive it you know, nearly 100 miles per day, about 90 miles a day, and not have to charge it. Only have to charge it once every seven days. For DHL and other freight providers, this is a great strategy because, well, for one, it's going to save them a lot of money. The trucks will last longer. And also, the truck drivers just much prefer to drive electric trucks. They're all saying the same thing, right? They're automatic. Uh, they get up hills easily. And they're not stressed by holding up all the traffic doing 15 miles an hour on the freeway up a hill. So they're actually safer as well. DHL are validating the tech, and I believe they're going to order these trucks too. However, Keller, they are a family-owned operating carrier. They have over 300 trucks in the Midwest and Southeast, and apparently they are actually going to utilize the semi as well. The reason is because of the ROI. They said the return on investment of an electric truck is much better than that of a diesel-powered truck. Now, getting back to China, China has been completely disrupted. The market there for diesel trucks is being eroded so quickly that you can see the difference in demand for diesel. It's demand for diesel in China is crashing because the industry this year, electric trucks have hit 25% market share. And that's happened incredibly quickly. In, insanely fast disruption that we, I don't think anyone was predicting. They're saying that within the next couple of years, the electric truck, the, ele the truck industry in China is probably going to be 80% electric. And it's just because of the investment, the ROI, the return on investment is so good. Trucks for Tesla though, Tesla use 4680 battery cells, of course, which are more expensive to manufacture, but they are building production lines for lithium ion phosphate. And that'll be using light, they'll be licensing CATL's battery technology. Those batteries will probably be about 40% cheaper to produce than 4680 cells. And that means Tesla might actually come up with uh, shorter range semis using lithium ion phosphate that are much cheaper. But I think there's a good chance Tesla's also going to make a smaller truck uh, because smaller trucks are a pretty big section of the market. So something a bit smaller than a class eight semi with lithium ion phosphate batteries, that'll hit a big portion of the market. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.